Welcome. Today we're going to do a, a versatile kind of a sauce that I've come up with. I call it steak plus sauce and a meat plus marinade. And the idea here is that while these are nominally something you would use on a steak, I'm going to actually apply it a couple of different ways. So first we're going to make the sauce and the marinade. I have a quarter cup of water in here that's simmering already. I'm going to put in uh, four teaspoons of tomato paste. I've got four teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Okay, that in. Then I've got um, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, get down in here too. Uh, two tablespoons of soy sauce, this is dark soy sauce. Um, this is a tablespoon of yuzu juice. If you don't have yuzu juice, I mean, you can buy it on the internet, but if you don't have it, you can just use lime juice. Lime juice is fine. And uh, then I've got two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, three sprigs of rosemary, and uh, this is about, oh, I guess it's about 20 juniper berries. They're lightly crushed. You just want to crush them to, to, to get, break the skin and get that in there. I've got a, a large garlic clove smashed, and then uh, uh, one and a half tablespoons of sliced shallot. I'm just going to put that in there, get that going, make sure I got it simmering, and that's actually going to cook down to, a, to uh, thicken it up really nice. So I got that started. That's the sauce. That's really all there is to it for this steak plus sauce, and um, we just have to let that cook down. So the other thing I'm going to make is this is a marinade. And, uh, and this is really very simple. What I've got here is a handful, this is a big handful of fresh herbs. These are mint, thyme, and rosemary. I'm gonna put that in the food processor here. Okay, then I've got 20 um, black peppercorns. I've got three cloves of garlic. And I've got this is a half of a preserved lemon. Preserved lemon is also something you can buy in the supermarket. It's actually pretty, pretty good to make it yourself. It's very easy to make and it's kind of fun and it's, it's, it's a lot better that way. So I got that in there. I'm gonna put in some dark soy sauce to taste. And so I'm just putting a little bit in. I'll taste it later. You don't need any salt in here because the, the um, preserved lemon is actually quite salty. And then I'm gonna add some olive oil and I'll get the food processor started and essentially what I want to do is I want to get it to how it's a, a nice thick paste. So I'm just going to let it go for a little bit. I'm going to check how my um, sauce is doing over here. It's still simmering nicely. I just got to let it keep going until it thickens up. All right. Now what I'm going to do with it today is not steak. Certainly these are things that would go very well with steak. But just to show you how versatile they are, I'm going to do two different things. I'm going to do duck, and I'm going to do portobello mushrooms. So you can even, you know, and with nice portobello mushrooms, it can be an entree. So I've got some portobellos here. What I did with these, because I, the way I'm going to finish them, they wouldn't cook all the way. So I put them in an oven, a low oven, about 300 degrees. These were big, about 25, 30 minutes, with just a little oil on them. So I pre-cooked them. They're nice and sort of steaky and everything. And this could be a good, um, it could be a good main course. The other thing I have here is the duck breast. You can see I've scored it. What I want to do, I'll show you how I do it. I score the fat. And the idea of scoring the fat is I don't want to cut into the meat, but I want to create this nice little crosshatch and that's going to help the fat to render. So let's see how this is doing over here. We'll turn it off. It's good. It's good. It's, it's kind of, it's nice and thick. Let me give it a taste. See if it needs any more soy sauce. No, 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 that's fine. It's got a good salt content, so that'll be fine. And I'm going to, so what I do with that is I am going to marinate both the mushrooms and the duck. So um, the amount of time that each one will marinate is a lot different. The, the mushrooms, the portobellos will probably only go for about, for about 20 minutes, no, actually 30 to 45 minutes. 
and the um, whereas the um, duck would probably be a couple of hours. But it's not a problem. I can actually start them at the same time. And then what, because you wipe this off, I'm going to grill these at the end. So you need to wipe it off anyway. So I'm going to do the portobellos, those nice and coated here, right? And after about 45 minutes, half hour to 45 minutes, I'll just wipe this off and then they can sit and wait for me to finish. Okay, and then the duck, the same thing with the duck. I got the duck here. And see, and those nice, that nice cross hatch is going to allow the marinade to get down in between, into the fat, even sort of reach the meat a little bit. And I'll do this. All right. And like I said, this is going to sit probably at room temperature for a couple of hours. I could put it in the fridge. I mean, this is something that you could do a long time in advance. And you could let it just sit in the fridge in the marinade for you know, six hours or however you want. Just make sure that you take it out about an hour or so, depending on the size, about an hour or so before you're going to cook it because you don't want to start cooking it from cold. You want to start cooking it from uh, room temperature. So what I've got here now, as you can see, this is thickening up. I'm going to get that. This is nice and thickening it up. Okay. So what I want to do now, now that it's now that it's reducing down, what I want to be able to do is I got to get all that stuff out of it, right? I want a smooth steak sauce. I don't want something that's got, you know, rosemary leaves in it and chunks of garlic and stuff like that. So I'm going to put it through. What you normally do is you can put it through a sieve. Um, I have a tammy here that works very well, but you can use any any kind of a sieve is fine. So I take that out, put that here. You can see I've been simmering this. I've been letting it go. It looks really good. And what I do is I just put it in there like that. And then I push on it like so. I want to get all the goodness, all the liquid out. I want to be able to get those pieces out of it. Just like that. Okay. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, I have a steak sauce now, um, and uh, uh, I can thicken that up a little bit more if I want to. And so we're going to let these marinate. We're going to come back later, and then I'll cook these off for you. So we're back, and the marinating's done. After about 45 minutes, I took the marinade. I wiped the marinade off the portobello mushrooms. Uh, for, after a couple of hours, I wiped it off of the duck. I've already started the duck. What I did is I put this in a cold pan. I just took the pan out. I put it on. I put the duck uh, fat side down, skin side down, and turned this to about medium. And you can see that it's already starting to cook. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to render the fat out. So we got to do that, and then we'll flip it to the other side. While we're waiting for that, what I'm going to do is fire up this other pan here uh, pretty, pretty high and I'm going to put a little olive oil in it. What we're going to do here is I'm going to cook the portobello mushroom. Same general technique, what I'm doing is I'm, you know, pan searing it as if it was almost like it was a steak. So I use the same marinade for both of these. Here's the sauce, by the way, and I did actually uh, cook it a little bit longer. And I cooked it down a little bit more after, uh, after we left earlier. So that's ready to go. It's about the right, it's about the right thickness. So we got this going here. We got the duck going here. I'm going to check it. Yeah, see now this, the, the skin, the fat is being rendered out very nicely. It looks like I've just got to slide them around different uh, temperatures in the different parts of the pan here. So I'm going to let that keep going. What I got here is uh, just about ready to go. So I'm going to treat the portobello same as I would be treating the duck, same as I would treat a steak. So we're going to put this down, and you can see I'm starting to get a nice sizzle on that. Now, as I told you before, I had put these in the oven earlier. I cooked them a little bit to get some water out of them and also to get them cooked through because this sear isn't going to take long enough to have actually cooked the, the mushrooms. So, there we go cooking that here. I'm going to check my duck. That's looking good. 
Yeah, that's looking very good. You can see it's starting to get nice and rendered, getting a nice crisp, crisp on the side. This is going well. Flip this over. I got this nice and high because really all I'm trying to do is get a little heat through it and sear it. Yeah, I noticed the oil was just starting to smoke when right. you put it down. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. wanted to make sure the, that it was really nice and hot uh, because I'm trying. I'm I'm almost treating this like it's a steak, trying to get it nice. So here, these are doing well. Yep, those are perfect. Look at the top of that. I'm going to flip that over, and I'm going to finish it on the other side. I'm just going to sear it a little bit on the other side. Now, there was no oil in that no, pan, No, right? no, no oil just, in this. You just, just, you just yeah. put the duck fat side down, and the duck takes care of itself as the pan heats up. Yeah. It, you know, it, it just kind of does, it, does its own thing. All right. You see I'm getting a little caramelization on these mushrooms. And I'm going to pretty much declare those to be done. So we'll take those out. Turn that off. We'll have a little taste of that while we're waiting for the duck to finish cooking. So here we go. We're going to cut it just like I do a steak. All right, put a little bit there for you. Put a little bit of this sauce on it, and we'll let you taste that while I finish the duck. That's got to cook a little bit. Um, you know, and by the way, there's nothing wrong with using one of these, okay? Some people, it's like, I, I'm pretty decent at touching and feeling and seeing what it is, but there's nothing wrong with two, using one of these. All right, so these are going to have to cook a little bit longer. I'm aiming for about 130 to 135. So we're going to take a little break, and uh, actually we're going to let you tell me about this. Yeah, these are delicious. It's just a really meaty mushroom, and I don't really, you can pick out the juniper berries and a little balsamic vinegar, and oddly enough, the soy sauce. I don't know that I've ever said soy sauce and juniper berries in the same sentence for a sauce before okay but it works all right and, and again this is really it's a steak sauce but what yeah. i'm trying to show you here is that this same kind of sauce can be used for a lot of different things it, it's really got night what is that phrase umami, umami they say who's umami <laughs> so so maybe these are just about done now Now they got to cook a little longer, so we are going to take a break, and then we're going to come back and we'll try the duck. Okay, so the uh, the duck continued to cook. It came up to around 125, 130. I took it out. This one piece has actually been resting for a couple of minutes. I'm just going to take a couple of slices here. Oh, perfect! And you can tell it's nice. It's kind yes. of a medium rare, which is the way you want your duck. Yeah. Now I'm going to let you try that. I was to give, should have given you a knife, huh? That's all right. <laughs> yeah, the, the skin is nice and rendered and still nice and tasty. Mm. Well, I crunch through it. What do you think? Love duck. Sauce really works really well on the so duck. So it worked with the mushroom, worked mm -hmm. with the duck. Can it go to work with the steak, too? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there you go. I uh, showed you a nice uh, versatile steak sauce that works for a lot of different things, a nice uh, marinade that works for a lot of different things. Give it a shot, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Thanks for joining us.